be back with another one. Now, sticking to Tom Brady as the topic, Danny Amendola said something interesting. And he said that, you know, that Tom Brady is the Patriot way. And I find that very interesting. And it may look that way now because Tom Brady is in the Super Bowl and the Patriots didn't make the playoffs. But I got to say, to be honest, I don't think that's true at all. Like, I find that to be very, very false for a few reasons, actually. Like, in terms of Bill Belichick, like, he oversees the defense more than the offense. Now, in terms of how long Tom Brady's been there, like, I've done this video before in terms of how many times Tom Brady had a top 10 defense. And he had it over 10 times. Like, there were like six or seven times he had a top five defense. And, and it's interesting that Denny Amendola is saying this because he had a top 10 defense for the five or six years that, that he was there. And he won two Super Bowls out of it. You know, so that's, 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 a, that's an interesting statement that he would make. And, you know, they're not going to talk about the time that, you know, that the Patriots won games in spite of Tom Brady throwing two or three interceptions with the offense having four turnovers. Like, the defense was that good, right? But I'm also going to give Tom Brady credit for this, though. Year after year after year, Tom Brady took pay cut after pay cut to for you know for them to get the best players because Tom Brady really only cared about winning. So Tom Brady was taking pay cut year after year after year and he deserved every single thing that that he deserved millions. I'm talking about whatever Pat Mahomes got, Tom Brady deserved that. Like yeah, he brought six championships there. He been to the uh, he been in the Super Bowl 10 times. He been to the AFC Championship game 15 times, 14, 15 times. He won the division, the division damn near every single year. Like, you know, I just don't, but for that statement to say that Tom Brady is the Patriot way, no. I think this year, like, I knew that the Patriots were going to not be a good team. I knew that because Tom Brady left a situation where there were, he had nobody to throw to. And then on top of the amount of defensive players who, who opted out or the, the amount of players, period, like the Patriots had the most players to, to opt out. So I think that was a big, a big thing as well. But. Yeah, man, true. Including Patrick Chung and uh and Dante Hightower, like that, like that was big on defense as well. Which is why it made it seem like we didn't, like we never had a pass rusher to speak of, because Dante How Dante Hightower was really our only reliable pass rusher. You know, so like you know, but and speaking of the Patriot way, like. Football is the most is the is the ultimate team sport. It's the ultimate team sport, and but that Super Bowl where the Patriots came back twenty eight to three, that showed you how much of a team sport it really is. Like the defense had to shut out that offense for the rest of the game for the you know um for that offense to be able to come back the way that it did. Now I know like. A lot of people speak on how great Tom Brady was on that comeback, but nobody speaks about how good that defense was in shutting out the top five offense that year. Shit, Julio Jones, at that time, I forget who, who the running back was, but that running back was a beast. Matt Ryan won MVP that year, so he that offense had weapons. And for, and for the Patriots to have shut them down, from the middle of the third quarter to the rest of the game without them scoring a single point 
Like, yeah, like, even though Matt Ryan made dumb mistakes, but, yeah, the, that Patriots defense had a lot to do about it. Like, we also ain't going to speak about the fact that, about that that Rams and uh, Patriots Super Bowl, when they only won, what, 13-3? to three? Yeah, that the defense had a huge part in that. You know what I'm saying? So, hell, even, even with the 2007 Super Bowl, when, you know, when... The offense had what we were scoring over thirty five points a game, and we and we ended up scoring fourteen points, seventeen points. Hell, no, fourteen points. Where the I think that last game of that regular season, we put up thirty five on New York. Then then in the Super Bowl, we turn around and we only only put up fourteen. So I can't. I can't really say that Tom Brady was the sole reason why the Patriot way is what it is. Like, Tom Brady is not the Patriot way. Like, at the end of the day, Bill Belichick had, had, had put those players in place, especially on defense, for, for Tom Brady to succeed the way he did. Now, there are a lot of quarterbacks who have great defenses and fuck it up. Like, Tom Brady wasn't one of those quarterbacks who had great defenses year after year and fucked it up. Like, but that's why football is the ultimate team sport because you need your offense as well as your defense to play well. So, it all, it really all co-exists together. Like, two things could be true. You know what I'm saying? Defense wins championships, but, but so does Tom Brady. And, you know, that's the situation that uh that the Bucks are in right now, man. Bucks have a Bucks have a loaded team. Like the Bucks are loaded with talent. Just that, you know, James Winston couldn't James Winston couldn't do it. You know, so Tom Brady had to step in there and show him how it's done. So, you know, and now they're in the Super Bowl. So it is what it is. But in terms of Danny Amendola, nah, bro, that ain't true.